Well, let's start with secondary traumatic stress because that, that is what it sounds like. We are not traumatized by the, the kids and the families we work with for the most part, and except in very rare instances. So for the most part, it's secondary traumatic stress because we are learning of the traumas that these kids and their families and their communities are going through. And that affects us personally just as bystanders. So it's secondary because it's not happening to us directly, but it still triggers a reaction that's based upon empathy. It's not really primarily a stress reaction. It's, an, it's a reaction of caring. And then as a result of caring, which is empathy, then feeling a sense of wanting to do something to make things better. And in many cases, we don't have the power to make things better, or we can only make small, incremental, important but not total changes. So secondary traumatic stress really is a reaction of caring and empathy for those who have experienced trauma, as many youth who are involved in juvenile justice and their families have. Compassion fatigue is then where secondary traumatic stress can lead us to feel that sense of compassion and empathy, but over time, there's only so much compassion and empathy that any of us can hold. And it, it becomes a, a, a potential burden it can become exhausting to care that much when you, you really can't fix everything and when you have to really focus on helping kids do better and not focus on all the terrible things that have happened to them or are happening to them. So compassion fatigue is the, the cost of secondary traumatic stress. It's the exhaustion we feel emotionally because we care. And then vicarious trauma is, is sometimes used as a term because, again, these are not traumas that we're directly experiencing that are direct threats to us or those we care about in our personal lives. These are threats that have occurred or are occurring to the kids and the, and the families that we're working with. So it's vicarious, but that's very powerful. It's not like watching a movie. These are real people. So the vicarious element is because we're not directly traumatized, but we are affected. Burnout is what can happen when secondary traumatic stress becomes compassion fatigue and when the vicarious trauma becomes so intense and overwhelming that we feel as though we're not safe and nothing that we do is making any difference at all or it's not making enough of a difference or nobody cares and burnout is really that sense of exhaustion that follows from compassion fatigue. Now, burnout can happen also just because of overwork, because of schedules that are incredibly hard and demanding. Uh, there, there are many other causes, secondary traumatic stress and vicarious trauma is only one source of burnout, but it can be a pathway that leads to burnout unless we transform those stress reactions and those compassion and empathy reactions into a, a way of constructively making a difference.